Hi everyone, so today's video is about portion control. Now the reason I wanted to talk to you about portion sizing is because it's really important after you come off the juice section of the plan, which is the first five days on the DIY body detox, that you then really look at how much food you're actually consuming. So far too many of us eat too much and drink too little as I've said before. And what you'll find is after you've been juicing, you'll have kicked in your body wisdom and you'll have now a thirst response rather than a hunger response. So when you go back to eating solid foods, you'll probably find that you're not able to eat anywhere near as much. Now this is a good thing because your stomach has reset itself. You're no longer having to overconsume to get more energy because you're taking in loads of fresh live green juices and they are sustaining your body and giving you much more energy than you've ever had before. So the first point I want to make about portion control is to think about how big your stomach actually is. No, it isn't as big as the space of the center of your body. Your stomach is actually about the size of your fist. So you don't want to be ladening your plate with far too much foods. That then has to go into your digestive system and you have to then poop that out. If you have less food in your stomach, it's much easier for your digestive system to work properly. The second tip is when you're feeling hungry, double check with yourself. Are you actually feeling thirsty? You should have started to recognize this by now, having done the juice week. But just check in with yourself and I always recommend to have some water, have some juice before you go and eat. So leave it about 20 minutes before you actually go and eat anything. You usually find that this will curb overeating by quite a substantial amount. My third tip for this is eat when you're actually hungry. So, you know, how many times have you gone to eat just because it's lunchtime? or just because it's dinner time, because we've been trained to have three meals a day. So what you want to do is, is actually, again, checking in with yourself, always coming back to the self and noticing if you're hungry. So, for example, for me today, I got up and I had a green juice. And then much later, after I'd done some work, I had some oats. Now, um, you know, it might have even been around maybe 11 o'clock. Now, I have the luxury of being able to work from home, so I can do that. But if you get up and go to work in the morning and you've had your breakfast and you get to lunchtime and you're really, really not hungry, please then just have a juice. Have something that's going to give you some liquid, give you nutrition. Don't force yourself to eat when you're not actually hungry. It's the worst thing you can do to your system. My fourth tip is, are you feeling emotional? Now, as you've heard me talk about before already, I'm really super into detoxing emotions. So what you want to do now is, is start recognizing, are you actually eating due to an emotion that you're having, an emotional response in the body? You might be eating because you feel lonely. You might be eating because you feel stressed. You might be eating because you are bored. Okay, so you want to start checking in with yourself. Why are you going and reaching for that plate of food or that snack? Are you actually hungry or is there something else going on? My last tip is your body looks for what it knows. So feed it well so that you remember. For example, in the past you may have reached for a coffee mid-afternoon when you were feeling that sort of afternoon slump. But now your body will remember that it's had more energy from drinking green juices. So it should start craving those because your body wisdom has kicked in. So remember to keep feeding your body really well so that it can give you the prompt when it is missing vitamins or nutrients or minerals or just much needed H2O. Tip number six is choose a smaller plate. So there's no need to choose big, huge plates to put your food on, because as we've said already, the size of your stomach is about the size of your fist. So you can choose a smaller plate, which will reduce your calories. Your eyes will still look at it as a big meal, but we don't have to be consuming so much. So please join me for the next video, which is going to be talking about working out. So doing workouts, going to the gym, doing yoga or doing some kind of training whilst on the detox and whether this is actually good for us or not. Okay, I'll see you there. Thanks for joining.